Wildcard Custom Paint Pimp, Wild Eyed Northern Boy, Ghetto Garage, Real Life, Real Time. It's been a tad over 24 hours. I believe the day is Wednesday at 2.42. This is about the farthest I've got. Watch those things right there. They actually work pretty good. Yeah, they work pretty good on skin too. That's what happens when you're in a hurry. Anyway. See now I had the fender off. Might as well grind all this uh, back. Actually she got a tad hole right there. But you know what? It's got another inner panel over it. Is it right not to fix it? No it's not right but I ain't doing it because you know what? Um, it was there before um, the fender got screwed. But anyway, this is what I hacked out. I still got a little bad part right there. I still can't get right here. There's like a, a crease, a slight crease. Um, I'm thinking, I was thinking that once I cut all the support that it would loosen up, but it did a lot. Um, ain't got to that point yet. Um, it'll come. Do the best I can every day. Um, I had to go down and get another one of those because I burnt through them. They don't, they last pretty good, you know. And um, this is my only transportation now. It's kind of hard to carry shit. Well, it's not the only one because I got the bagger, but it's kind of hard to carry shit. So you got to jam it in your pants while you're rolling down the road because, you know, the way my luck has been, and I'm not saying I got bad luck. Moody indicator site light says beautiful. Uh, not that I have bad luck, shit happens, but that's mama's car. Man, I feel bad if some, something happened to it, so I don't drive it. I don't perpetrate like it's mine, and it ain't mine. So I don't drive it. One good thing happened. I found the blue. Not a whole lot, it's only about that much. Just enough to do. Got about this much green, which is good. Um, what I use, I sandblasted it. Separated the two pieces of fenders, cut it a tad big. See, I don't know if I'm going to use this part right here, but just in case, I left that body line so I can kind of pre fit it. I don't think I'll have to go that far. Maybe I do. This is a sad thing. That fender, I didn't know how bad it was until I separated. Really? Until I separated it. It was. I almost went down and got another fender, but then I took all the time to separate it, so I tapped on it and there was, it, it got thin, and I sandblasted as much as I could and wire wheeled and everything else, and if I had to do it again, I wouldn't grab this fender, but you know, I, I, I tapped on it, pushed on it, bent on it, um, it's not as thick as regular metal, but it was no hole, okay, like I said, I put that, uh, I only put that stuff on there about, uh, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes ago. I'm figuring with this support, it'll be better. It'll show me where I'm at. And it had rust in it. It had rust all up in here. Yeah, it's hot. Um, sandblasting sucks. Unless you've got like, I don't know, two three hundred psi 
Yeah, that's just my opinion. Um, after I cleaned it all and sandblasted it, I put this stuff on it. The ruster. Do I know if it works? No. Because once I put it on, I put primer over it or whatever you want to call it. So I don't know if it works. But I use this too. It's in a um, canning jar. It's, I bought a long time ago and it lasted a long time. It, it was about $35. Um, it's Eastwood Rust Inhibitor or something. Okay? And I don't know why I have this stuff. I bought this a long time ago. Really? I don't even know why that stuff's still sitting here because I'm going to tell you how it is. They say you could take a fucking hammer and beat on that stuff. Really? I dropped a fucking screwdriver on it and it fucking chipped. I don't know how they stay in fucking business. But hey, I'm in a good mood. Um, my buddy Don Robinson is going to be over here at after 4 o'clock. Because I got an old van that uh, he's going to help me scrap out. Should get about 300 bucks out of it. And his boy says that the motor and trans and stuff, if you strip it all down, you get more money. That's beautiful. Um, probably get 400 bucks out of it. I told him I want three. You guys do whatever you want to do after that. So that's the deal. So, in an hour and 10 minutes, this pad has to be all taken care of and cleaned up because that's where the vet's going to set. And the way it looks, I didn't want to spray the fender in here with the S10, but because I have to plastic the whole thing, it'd be a lot easier if I just pull it out here. But got limited garage space. I forgot. I, I sanded this down after nine o'clock with 180 just to get the feather. I'm gonna go back and do some more. Um, I don't want to take. Maybe I'm lazy. I don't want to take the spoiler off. And I got the fender up and sit up here and spray. Because if I did that, it, I would like to only have the fender and the spoiler in here when I spray. But where am I going to set the S10 at? Um, it can't be on the backpack because that's the vet. It's going to be there. Uh, Mama car pushed over a little bit. Still ain't going to squeeze it in here. You know, st I, mean, I still can't squeeze it in there really. Um, the only reason I'm bringing the vet home is because he's coming to bring the trailer to get the van at my parents' house. Um, I got my um, battery batteries charging. I got to put the sexy Saturn back on the road because I don't have nothing to drive. And I don't know which key is. Here's my bag full of keys of shit I've owned. I don't even know where half the fuckers go. But anyway, um, the key to the Corvette. Um, key to the Saturn's in there somewhere. <laughs> this is what I ate today. That's it. It's like baby food. It dissolves quick. Because I'm in a hustle. I'm in a hurry. Um, as soon as I get this done, Am I going to drive it that next second, the next day? No, it's not. That's not the point. The point is, it's got to get done. I don't like stuff being half done. See, this is my goal in life. That chopper, my 80 Corvette. Maybe I'll give you the rundown on it later today. Put that back together and off it. My wife says I'm going to want to keep it. Well, yeah, I'm probably going to. When you see it, you'll probably say, yeah, I want to keep it. So we got 700, uh, 799 miles. But anyway, I want to put the vet back together and because I got a 78 Trans Am. I've owned that thing since 1991, so we're talking 20 years. That's, that's the car I own is my favorite car. I like other cars better. That's the car. And I got the blower motor for it with the 454 in it. And I need to get rid of the vet so I can take all that money and put a transmission and a rear end in it. Matter of fact, it, 
the parts have moved. Really? Like I said, it's been tore apart for 20 years. There's the bumper. There's the fenders. There's some parts in there. Um, here's my ceramic coated header that paid $600, six super comps. Um, there's a seat to the Trans Am. I got new floor pairings set in it. That not tacked in. Here's the front sway bar. Here's the back part of the back seat. Here is the gas tank down there. Um, there's the other seat up there. No, you can't see too well. You got a lot of stuff in here. I don't know how a person accumulates all this stuff. And then right here is a 400 small block I was going to put in a Trans Am 4 bolt main and I bought that and then I, I bought a 396 I was going to put in it and then I came across the big black blower man you fucking can't see it like I said I think it showed you my motor right there it's got Merlin heads whatever it's been there for shh, I don't know I don't even like talking about it because you know um, but that's my goal to get my stuff done. So I guess things work out pretty good where I start wondering why I can't get a, a job to paint a car. You know what? Sometimes you can't get what you want. Sometimes you just get what you need. And I don't need to work on somebody else's car right now. I need to work on my stuff. I'm going to tell you a little story. This is how... This is ridiculous. Let me see how many um, minutes I got. I told you the story about um, talked to a gentleman. I set my spray booth up. He's selling um, promising. Check out, like Paul Harvey says, the rest of the story. Talked to him yesterday. Talk to him today. Came over here. Here's a few things I didn't like. His partner, don't talk, that's fine. His partner says that the Calibri work I do, um, people ain't paying or buying it. Buying that. I understand that. It's got nothing to do with a fucking spray booth. I'm talking about renting a spot out of your fucking building. But I didn't say nothing to him. And this is another of my pet peeve. When you come over to my motherfucking property, Fuck the cell phone. If my conversation with you one-on-one -on -one isn't good enough, take your fucking cell phone and hit the fucking highway, baby. Because he answered that cell phone three fucking times. Anyway, it's all good. So roughly it'd be about $300. Okay, I, I would be able to use the booth 10 times a year. Beautiful. Now this is a, this is a good deal because I would never be in this building. I think it's a good fucking deal, but hey, check this part out. Then he says, he wants to store stuff on top of my booth. Okay. Then he wants a paint in it. And I told him, I told him like this, you know what? If I pee in my own toilet and I clean my own toilet and nobody else pisses in it, it's always clean. You gonna promise to keep the thing clean? Well, I don't know what he said, he hawed. Oh, I, I got a painter. Beautiful. Like the story changed, okay, whatever. This is the last thing that pissed me off. I guess he does bikes. Lay down bikes, flips them. Um, we sell them. I guess this caliber of work is too high for him. He's probably doing some bullshit bikes, but okay, this is my point. This is what pissed me off. So, it would be 26 by 14 by nine. So it's only 14 by 26. That's a big space, I understand. 300 bucks a month ain't bad. Ain't a lot of money. He want to store his fucking motorcycles while he grinds in this area. Store his fucking motorcycles in my spray booth. I'm saying, is the oil going to leak in it? Um, I kind of, that was my space. What am I renting? The fucking air? Really? I kind of like to put my S10 and my wife's fiber in the winter. Well, they're thinking about it. That's what they told me today. Think about it all you want. 
Are you fucking kidding me? These people. This is what I come to the conclusion on spray booth. Fuck it. I'm tired of pursuing it. I've tried so hard. Get the truck done, focus on the Trans Am, and maybe something comes down the line, because I don't know. Because these motherfucking people, peace of mind, peace of property, peace of oneself, peace of pussy, piece of something, motherfucker. And before I forget, there's a gentleman out there named Tricky57, I believe. T R I C K E Y 57. You really should check out his channel. He's from Georgia. He's got a real deep voice. He's doing a 66 GTO and he's doing a 34 Ford truck. If you go back about four videos, you'll understand what's going on. And I'm gonna leave it at that. I picked up on a I picked up on it about California and stuff like this. The stars. Check them out, man. He's fucking definitely worth watching. Matter of fact, shut the fucking video off. Cut me out and go check him out, man. For real. He did a front dash panel, I think a sail panel. No, not a sail, but did that on the front. Yeah, he the guy's good, man. He's not arrogant. He's fucking, um, I watch him. <laughs> Go on and get your paint on, people.